What's up, YouTube? Welcome to springtime in Indiana. It's not quite flip-flops weather yet, but it's getting close. So I thought I'd make a little update as to what I got done this winter and what my projected goals are for the summertime. Um, just kind of an idea of what direction we're going to go with the truck, I guess. Um, a lot of that keeps changing. <clears throat> Various things get in the way and I can't make up my mind on a lot of things this is the biggest problem. I've been, I had the engine all planned out and decided to go a completely different direction with it. So I'm kind of resetting the clock on that, give myself a little more time. I've got some questions I still need to answer on what I'm trying to do and how I want to do it. And so that's going to be on the back burner for a while, but that's fine because I've got a lot of other things I need to do to this in the meantime before it's, the engine's kind of going to probably be the last step. Um, so I guess, what did I get done this winter? Well, so I pulled the wiring harness out of it. I was gonna rewire it with a new wiring harness, but it's been a little bit of time with the wiring and the wiring that I cut, none of it was, you know, I cut some of this apart and stripped it and none of it was bad, you know, corroded and anything. It all looked like clean copper. The wiring, the loom, the harness is still flexible. So I stripped out a bunch of wire that wasn't being used anymore and there was still wiring for like the horn the voltage regulator i think there was even some old points wiring and stuff like that still left so i pulled out all the circuits that weren't necessary anything that wasn't absolutely necessary wired it in um used some actual decent connectors to make a harness that you know you can unplug if you need to pull the engine out stuff like that so those uh you know, weather pack or water tight, weather tight connectors, stuff like that. Um, and then, so I got the uh, gauge cluster done, got it installed. It's pretty cool. I've driven the truck a few times this year. Um, yeah, this is this is very neat. The GPS speedometer just uses that little thing that sits there on top of the dash and and works really well. I mean, it's as accurate as as everything I can compare it to. I uh, made a different bracket to mount the um, Sniper EFI screen since it was originally mounted here. Um, like I said, got the, um, the turn signals, brake light, the brights, all the indicators. Everything works great. Like it, it was one of those things that I did that actually worked right the first time, so I was pretty psyched about that. Deleted the radio. Got a panel from... One of the members of the uh, Facebook group, it's like 67 to 72 Ford F100, fix them your way. If you guys have this generation of these Fords, that group's got a lot of cool guys, a lot of cool builds, a lot of good information. So, um, you know, check into that. Um, then body work, I've done a little. I got a lot left to go, but so I got rid of the um, fuel fill neck. I still got to work on this some more. I can't. I'm not an experienced body man. I don't know. I get the concept. I understand the practice of doing it the right way, but being able to understand and do it the right way and actually do it to where it looks good are two completely different things. Like that's an art that I not mastered. Probably never will. Um, but I did fill that and then dumped the, um, and got deleted the antenna hole. Which that actually, that one turned out pretty good. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I had some, a long time ago, I tried to fill this gap, this factory seam. It looked horrible. And I was like, you know what? The factory seam looks better than what I did to it. So that's back. Um, and then I got the raised white letters on the tire from Treadwear. I ordered their set and put them on this winter in the living room, which was a big hit with my wife. But whatever, give me something to do. Kept me from being totally bored. So the goal this summer, I think the biggest parts are going to be getting rid of this seat because I mean it's a nice seat but it does not hold you in position um, I can't decide whether I'm going to go buckets full containment seats or use one of those TMI this is a company that sells a bench seat that's got bolsters for the driver and the passenger that I think would would be a lot more helpful than what this is and also kind of keep it old bench seat style thing so I'm gonna look into that. A roll cage for the cab. Uh, I've got to relocate the battery. I'm gonna install a battery cutoff switch. 
in one of the old holes in the dash from what used to be gauges. I'm gonna do that and then mount the battery down here underneath the cab on the side of the frame rail. And while we're down here, probably have to do something different with the exhaust because I think the rule books this year for SCCA, if I read it right, says I gotta ex the exhaust has to exit out of the, either the sides or the rear of the vehicle. So I've gotta come up with something there. And then, other than that, that's about uh, about the extent of it. Um, I lowered it about another inch all the way around. I think this is going to be the final ride height for the truck. Like, I can't go any lower without doing some modifications to the fenders. And you know, I'm not I'm not giving up that fitment. <laughs> like that's uh, yeah. I, I teach their own. I know some guys like to tuck those wheels up in the fenders. I'm not that guy. Like, I, I, that looks not for me. So, you know, that's what I ended up doing. And that's where it's going to live. So, yeah, that's, uh, I think that's the biggest part of what there is to look forward to on this channel this year is some of that stuff. There's going to be some other odds and ends. I got some cosmetic ideas and things I want to try. I need to upgrade the headlights because I, as much as I want to race this truck, I also drive this truck as much as I can. So... Um, I'm going to do some, you know, some more safety related things and things like that. And, um, yeah, I guess that's, that's about it for the spring update. What do you think, dog? Are we done? Yep. Sounds like it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and, um, hope to have more videos up soon.